Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. This is the daily NBA show we've been doing with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. We're all in a state of complete insanity right now because of March Madness, but we're still doing NBA. Today's Tuesday, March 17th, and we got five NBA games tonight. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us. Well, thank you for having me, Mr. Loshak. All right. My mind is filled with, uh, with, with college basketball right now, but I did put 5% to the side for NBA. And what I'm seeing here is, first of all, Memphis-Detroit, right? Detroit is a four-and-a-half-point underdog, totals 185. Memphis is on a back-to-back. -back. They beat Denver at home in a classic low-scoring game. And, you know, Memphis is going under as usual, 2-5 and five over under in their last seven. Detroit, we know what their deal is. They often disappear on offense, 2-6 and six over under in their last eight. This one has underwritten all over it. And 185, maybe not quite as low as I was expecting. I was expecting maybe 182 and a half, something like that. So uh, my first lead, maybe a little bit obvious, under 185 and also maybe thinking about Detroit plus four and a half, but stronger under 185. What do you think about that, Joe? It's uh, A lot of it will depend both the side and total whether Mike Conley plays. He is questionable. Memphis is actually, though, five and two without him, although one and two in his current injury. But, you know, his average is 16.3 points per game and 5.3 assists, so he wouldn't be much of a loss. And just to confirm that Andre Drummond's going to uh, play as well, which he is supposed to play, but he is listed as probable, so small chance. He's uh, four so on the boards, especially averaging 13.2 points per game. I don't necessarily know on the total. I would probably lean a little bit towards Memphis on the side simply mm -hmm. because uh, Detroit's got the second-worst net rating in the NBA in the last five games at minus 12.9. But on the other hand, Memphis is playing back-to-back -back in three games in four days. So, uh, you know, really a lot of conflicting stuff. Uh, not enough for me to talk anybody out of a side, but but nothing to really get me to lean much. And the only other thing I was thinking about, you know, the the Knicks and the Spurs. The Spurs are actually uh, starting to play very well. Ginobili is out, I believe, but uh, they're picking it up. They're six and two against spread over the last eight. They've also gone over in five straight games. And uh, I'm not exactly sure why I'm thinking this, but well, they're a huge road favorite here. Totals 197, and something's telling me that maybe the over 197 might be a good play there. But uh, I don't have a real concrete reason for it. The Spurs have been trending over. They can go under, but uh, I'm thinking maybe in a game like this, big spread will just let them play a little bit and maybe uh, run up the score a little bit. The biggest worry I would have is that the Spurs, this is really a good chance for the Spurs to rest some mm -hmm. of their starters, right, and we right. know that Greg Popovich is the guy that started all that, so I wouldn't be surprised if the line w winds up going down as much as the public likes to bet road favorites, but I would look for maybe this line to drop and then probably jump on the Spurs. As we said, the Spurs, they've just been fantastic. Second best offensive efficiency the last 15 games at a 108.1 points per 100 possessions. But on the other hand, the Knicks have the second worst at 94. So, of course, you know, if you look at the Spurs stat, you'd say go with the over. If you look at the Knicks stat, you'd say go with the under. I think this is going to be a big blowout either way. As much as I generally don't like to bet road favorites, I will make that as my uh, free play. And I guess at this point, I'll probably have to t lay the, the 14th, although I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the few cases where a big line goes down a little bit. Wow. All right. Well, the other games, you know, Griffin is back for the Clippers and the, the Pelicans. Anthony Davis playing great. They're a seven point home favorite against Milwaukee. But uh, those weren't any games that I was uh, interested in maybe uh, making my free picks. So you're just going to give us one free pick today. and It's going to be the Spurs minus 14, Joe Duffy. Yeah, and this is coming from somebody who doesn't like to lay the big number, but the, the Knicks are that bad. Admittedly, I did say here that I kind of had a check mark next to the Knicks, thinking that they might have benefited from the so-called Ewing theory by losing Carmelo Anthony, but the truth is they just have really no talent whatsoever. I mean, they and the, the 76ers are the two worst teams in the NBA. I know Minnesota has been pretty bad, but they've been banged up by injuries, but the Knicks are just... They're just awful, and it's almost as if they can't make the line high enough. And even if San Antonio rests some of their starters, remember, that's a deep, deep San Antonio Spurs team. So I think they are going to cover the big spread no matter what. Well, that's going to be your free pick, Spurs minus 14. And do I want to go with Memphis Denver under 185 as a free pick? I guess I will. If that game goes to overtime, uh, I'm going to be super pissed. If that game is looking under and then the fourth quarter has 61 points, I'm going to be super pissed, but I'll eat it. Those are our two free picks. Joe Duffy, off here Insiders.com. Give a quick plug for your website. Uh, we got a ton of plays for tonight, especially from the smaller tournaments, the CTI, CBI, and the NIT. Joe, and we do have an NCAA play as well, plus NBA. ton of stuff. Joe Duffy's picks at OffshoreInsiders.com. All right. Sounds great, Joe. Thanks.